What up everybody, it's your boy Chingo Bling. And your girl Marisol. Today we're making spicy watermelon margaritas, but first, this video is brought to you by ChingoBling.com where you can get the fly merch and tickets to a city near you. And also by Her Apparel, where we're dropping new merch every Friday for the month of July, starting with these Chingona earrings. So, limited edition, get yours before they sell out. Without further ado, let's make margaritas. All right, guys, today we are making spicy watermelon margaritas. Yummy. We're gonna get lit today. Of course, you're gonna have to have some freshly cut watermelon. By yours truly, I get that. Get most, what else? Uh, for sure you can't forget the tequila. That's the most important thing. We got a little bit left. Uh, limes. White Claw, believe it or not. Which I've never had, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna have it for the first time today. Yeah, same here. Agave, because we need it. Fajin, uh, but I'm also gonna use a little bit of this um, spicy tajin that I guess uh, the, what are these people called again? Caliente. CandyCrate.com. They sent us some. They chamoy. sent us some chamoy stuff, so we're gonna use that to actually rim and dip our cups in there. And then you're gonna need some serrano peppers, guys. So don't forget these, because it's gonna make it so delicious. So, you ready? All right, let's do it. I'm let's ready. get started. I'm thirsty. All right, guys. So first, we need to cut up all the serran the serrano peppers and the limes. So, will you help me? Let's do it. So this sounds like a nice little date night type of thing you could do, right? Yeah. So this kind of is like our date. <laughs> All right, so while you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get our little jar. Okay, guys, so we are a bit ghetto, and I know. So I guess I, um, I don't know really, to be honest with you, where our little, what's it called? The masher, The masher, machucar, whatever. Uh, container that we have for mixed drinks. I swear we have one because obviously here's the other part of the utensils that come with it. So whatever. If you're like us, let me show you a cheating way, a cheated way. So we're gonna go ahead and add, I say five to six cubes. First, you um, gotta rim it, no? No. Uh, this is what we're gonna oh, mash. Sure. This is not the cup we're drinking out of. So uh, first, he's gonna go ahead and put the watermelon. I want we saw this recipe on I Love Sarai, so I love trying other people's recipes, but I do like to do my own shit, so yeah. Um, so she did um, a few of these in there, okay? And save, then, save a couple for the, for the garden. Um, so are you wanting yours kind of spicy? Put some chili in there. All right, because right you don't really be doing spicy, y'all. Right, right now I'm kind of sick, so it might do me some good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and add this in here because Chingo is feeling brave. Because normally Chingo's being a little low. Well, you don't really like as much hot sauce as I do. Not that you're a little bitch, but yeah. I mean, you just you're all about that, you know, Chile life. I am. All right, guys. So again, I know we're gonna get the comments down below. Damn, they're ratchet. They can't. Uh, we forgot the agave. Okay. How all many, right. How many little squirts? So we need two of those. Peace game, everybody. Ooh, yeah. Sugar. All right. And then we need uh, probably about... Can I lick that? Sure. I'm just going to pour in here because we don't really kind of... That's about how much we're going to use. And then I say about three of those. Just pour three. Mmm. Cheese. Mm. These, uh, this tequila company is not a sponsor, but they should be. Make sure y'all hit us on the DM or something. All right, so that looks like it's gonna be lit. Then we'll pour a little bit of tahini in there. And now, we're gonna go ahead and mash! So it's been a while since um, I've had any tequila. How about yourself? I've been on a little medication the past few days, so. I haven't had any. Well, the other night, babe, we kind of had a little tequila before going to bed. How long ago was and that? Probably like three weeks ago. <laughs> Easily. Easily. Three a long weeks time ago. ago. Okay, let's. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, can you get that? Okay? I'm gonna 
Sus. Ooh, I'm ready for them comments. They're finna talk about us. Are they using it? Oh my god. A Look a how ghetto they are. This she's using her little whip. They need to step up their YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, They're yeah. like, y'all know y'all could have got it off Amazon. Did we did. Bueno. Alright, so Chingo, why don't you kind of do us the favor and we will go ahead and open this up and kind of pour the chamoy dip in there. So I'm going to rim the glass. Uh huh, and, and then, then we're going to need to pour ice in it. Yeah. You want me to use there? Mm hmm. Sure. Should I do the ice first? Oh, no. No, because then it'll fall in the dip. Idiot! Blonde moment. <laughs> This ain't no Martha Stewart, y'all. This, this, this chingle brings you two. Let me help him out here. This ain't Chip and Joanne Gaines. Whoa, 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 see? Mm -hmm. So if I was a bartender, would I be fired already? Totally. You'd be like, you're wasting. What your name is, bartender? Where you be at? How long you been bartending? Okay, we made one bar. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said we may have to do this again. Or smash it up more to get all the juice. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll let you mash. Maybe add another some more uh, watermelon in there, but get it, Chingo, get it. Size. We needed to have it in my mouth or somebody right here. All right, let me help you. Bit of this. Hit, hit it with the claw. All right. Now we need some tequila in here, Pete. Oh, sh my that The tequila was only in my drink, boo. Well, I'm not trying to get too tall. It's boo! Not that loaded. I'm on medicine. All I'm right, on medication. All right, all right. I'm, I'm on medication. One little tequila for this one. Y'all see how she be treating me? That's why I married her. <laughs> que me gusta que me maltraten. Me gusta la mala vida. No, esto no creo que va a ser suficiente, pero bueno, another fail. A ver. Puros fails aquí. Welcome to my fail channel. <laughs> All right, let's give All right. this the moment of truth. Let's see. Not bad. I'm gonna add a little bit of more of these uh, <clears throat> jalapenos in there. Oh, you need some spice in your life. It tastes so much better now. Put some salt in your mouth. Okay, real talk though, guys. I don't know how old y'all are, but I'll be 39 this year. I'm about to be 41 in a few weeks. And I just can't handle having a hangover the way I used to be able to handle it, to where I'd wake up like a soldier, get up, go to work, and then do it all <laughs> over again at night. If you were a party animal in your days, you get me. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> My party days were lit. Ooh. And I started on Wednesdays. Monday and Tuesdays, I took it easy. And Wednesday through Sunday were my party days. Let's pray for her liver. We got a GoFundMe. Somebody sells so liver right now. I'm way better now, boo. I've already, yeah, you got I've already, well, all that's come out. I'm, I'm born again. You started over, you, you got I a whole new over, liver. I have a whole new liver, I worked it out, I eat better, I exercise way more than I was exercising when I was in my early 20s. Can you imagine if we had started on that lifestyle in our 20s? Well, I was, I, I've always been athletic. So I've always played sports, I danced, I did boxing, I did jujitsu. I've always done it, but where my problem was, was the eating and the party. So what'd you think? What would you change? What would you make different? Um, so I like that it's not sweet, personally. I don't do sweet drinks. Do you? Do you like fruity drinks? No, I do like, um, like, have you asked your caipirinha? No. It's kind of like lemonade. Really? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we should make that one next. Ooh, that hard? It's like Brazilian. It, they, they mush up mint. Like a mojito? Uh, it's similar to a mojito. It's like a Brazilian one. Mm. They use a different liquor or whatever. Anyway, Ooh, we should back try check that me. one. 
fact check me in the comments. Um, I like it. Again, I'm not someone who's really into spicy. Is this one of those that you can maybe have one or two at the most? What do you think? Before it's like, yeah, yeah, me have to say. Why, because it's too sweet for you? It just, um, I don't like really dig margaritas or frozen daiquiris or any of that I, stuff. I like the spice. I ain't yeah, lie. I like the spice. It got a little kick back here. <sighs> yeah. Right back here. <laughs> Your tonsils is opened up again? Uh, they, they grew back. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you do different? Nothing. I mean, it's good. I actually add, add more alcohol. Mine doesn't have enough tequila. More tequila? Yeah, I like to be able to taste my shit. Like, I want to know that there's I mean, actual real alcohol in there. It's obviously good. I, I can't stop drinking. Um, I'm the same way with coffee. I don't really like a bunch of creamer and sweet shit. I like to taste my coffee, so I like to taste my alcohol. You know? So it was a success. Um, I had fun making it. Yeah, thanks um, for this date. It's a little date night. I'm talking about. Maybe watch a little episode of family or parts and work out here. Um, so are we so are, all though. I mean, what do you want me to be doing right now? It's a pandemic. What what all do you want me to do? We never did that. Astro World is closed. What do you want me to do? Alright, so let us know if you guys tried, if you like it at home, how do you remix it? And hashtag it cooking with the blings so that we can find you and repost you whenever you try our recipe. So and shout out to I Love Sarai on YouTube for sharing this recipe because we did it. And so we thank you guys for sharing that. So pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, be sure you subscribe, share, notify. And ring the little click the little bell here so that you know the next time Chingo uploads a video. So till the next cooking episode. Cheers. <laughs>